Hey guys, D-Mike here for a random episode of Super Mario Party? Well, it turns out, everybody, that I finally hit 50 subscribers, and that's probably inconsequential in the grand scheme of things, but like I did for my old channel, I think it was actually 100 subscribers, so I was actually doing better back then, but it doesn't matter. I played Mario Party back then, I'm gonna play it right now, on myself, I'm playing with myself, just for fun. It's been a long time since I played this. I don't know. We're feeling pretty hard today, and if we're gonna play with ourselves, we might as well be hard. So let's go ahead and have a great party. Hand party, perhaps. Let's just do tradish Mario Party. Cash, Womps, Domino Ruins, King Bob Bomb's Patrick Hag Mine, The Mega Fruit Paradise. Or Kmax, Tantalizing Tower. I don't know... I've played all of them, because I'm amazing, but... This one seems to be kind of the most classic. And we'll play for 10 turns. We'll just keep this simple. This is just kind of a nice, fun, easy play. As a thank you to all of you viewers and subscribers who have been following me along for however long it's been since I started making content on this channel. And for those of you who have been following along for my old channel, an extra special thank you to you. So here we go. I think I played Mario Party 2 last time. So this is the closest that I'm gonna get in this era that looks good. we have to... Okay, be horrible. Third, classic. At least we're not last. Because nobody likes last place, because that makes you a huge loser. So here we go. We'll be facing off against Luigi, Yoshi, and Rosalina. I'm not entirely sure why she is chosen as the round out for this one. That's a quick star, right? <laughs> Right off the get-go, none of us are going to be able to afford it for at least two turns, unless we get lucky. And I'm not entirely sure when this episode's going to go up, so... You'll just have to bear with me. This is going to be a longer one, obviously. Probably just going to keep it in one... One solid... Recording. So this Mario game is a little interesting. It's the... First iteration on the Switch. There are two now. There's Mario Superstars. Which is more of a... A reimagining of older Mario parties. Haha, <laughs> sucks. So that's... That's kind of what that one was. This is its own... Its own game. Standalone title. And what's cool in this one is that you have the option of two different dice blocks. You have the normal dice block, the one through six. Or, each character has their own special one along with third-party characters that can join in and help you. So we're going to go ahead and try the special dice block, just because we're feeling a little spicy. And that paid off, so... Very nice. You have the option of going towards the Whomp. Play the Whomp Toll. We don't want that. I do believe that stars in this game only cost 10, which is a bit of a departure. In the other Mario Party games, the classic rules are 20, so. One of the gimmicks of this map is that these Womps will block the pathway, and you have to sometimes pay a toll or use the special space to move them around. So first, it's the Slapperazzi. It says, the more central you are in the photo, the more points you get. Do whatever you must be to be the center of attention. So that's basically it. You're just trying to fight to get to whichever of the characters has the camera and get in front. So there's nothing saying, oh, well, I'm going to do. Get out of my way. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's a maximum of three points. Oh, excuse you, Rosalina. Three for centermost. 
Everything else after that follows along. Three, two, one, and then if you're too far behind, you get zero points like a loser. I feel like I was actually closer than, than Yoshi. I got, I got, uh, I got robbed on that one. I love how casual it is. You know Mario, just standing in front of the camera, posing, looking all cute, but in reality he's slapping women to get there. Kind of uncool. But we don't actually have to do anything, because we cannot lose this. We'll just hang out in the back. We'll take our zero points. So there it is. Absolutely destroyed everybody. I thought these characters were supposed to be hard. Hmm. The only one hard here is me. I'm feeling awesome. So you get eight coins for a win. Everybody, I think except for the last place person, will be the recipient of coins. Another strange thing about this game is instead of playing it with a pro controller, two Joy-Cons to simulate a controller, you actually have to use one Joy-Con on its side. I think Yoshi actually has enough coins for the star, so that's super uncool. And he went, oh, excuse me, what? Why would you do this? You had the chance to win, Yoshi. Here's another gimmick of this game, the ally space. So occasionally you'll land on these spaces and you'll have a friend character come and join you as you play and they have a chance to Increase your roll every time by one or two spaces. You can also use their special coin block. The Goomba one's pretty awesome. Either you're getting a decent sized roll or you're gonna be getting coins. So it's a pretty safe one to use. Preferable in many ways. Getting very close to the star here. I, gotta be, I feel like using my dice block is good again unless I whiff on it. I do. <laughs> Wonderful, okay. Well, you know what? Free mushroom. Ooh, that's probably the worst thing to get, to be honest. And you can't use it until the start of your next turn, so I can't even cause any havoc. Ooh, Rosalina has an eight on her dice, but she's going nowhere. Enjoy your big fat zero, Rosalina. Oh, I guess technically since she didn't move, it causes the Womps to shift around again. I don't know if that puts... Oh, it does put them in the way of her. That's kind of funny. So she's got to sacrifice coins to even get to where she wants to be. So here we go. Can take pancake. Who's ready for breakfast? This one's pretty fun. So you get to move your little pointer around. You grab a pancake. You take it back to your plate. Etc. If you find yourself with a star pancake, then you're something special. That's not even enough syrup. So you gotta be quick. Grab them cakes. Don't you? Oh, you rascal. That was mine. Is it? No, oh. I'm not winning this one. I done goofed on that one. I should have been more patient than I wasn't. My breakfast has been ruined. That's fine, I'm not really much of a pancake boy anyway. I know a lot of people like pancakes, but I feel like compared to, let's say waffles, they're kind of an inferior breakfast item. Waffles are crispy and they just hold up a little better. Whereas pancakes, I mean, I guess I super saturate mine in syrup. That's potentially part of my conundrum, but Pancakes just kind of fall apart. And there you go, first example of a Goomba. Helping Yoshi out. Luigi's gonna steal the star unless he's a big ding dong and he goes the wrong way, which I would love, but I don't feel like that's gonna happen. <laughs> well, it appears the star is ours. That's quite good luck. You got a mushroom, that's decent. A mushroom for your troubles. So now the star is ours no matter what. Eh, we'll hold on to that. You can use items whenever you want to, but I don't want the game trying to tell me what to do. Last time I checked, this is America. And uh, freedom to do whatever I want. 
is the most important thing in my life. So there you go, 10 coins in exchange for a star. It's convenient that it's not 20 because I would have been screwed. Oh, I do like that though. That's right, read and weep. I love how sad they look, except Rosalina doesn't really seem to be too bent out of shape. She's a little more steadfast than the boys here. She's not letting anything get to her. She has a higher social and emotional IQ. So there you have it. The star has moved quite a ways. So we're gonna have to Oh, another poison. I'm just, I'm gonna have to start using these just so I can get them out of my inventory. I think when you play this, that the most you can have item-wise, I think is three things at a time. And if your item inventory is full, I don't know if it lets you get rid of them. And if it doesn't, then you might have to discard the newest thing, and that's a bit of a bummer. I don't want that. Okay, so... Surprisingly, the one-on-three minigame, I was not expecting that. Dust buddies. All right, so in this one, you basically just gotta see how good you are at suck it with your buddies. So yeah, they've got a three-pronged attack and I'm just got one big, one big sucker. So I'm gonna box them out here, grab all the dust from the side that they're missing. Feeling pretty good, oh boy. Well, oh no, they boxed me out, you little jerks. Look, is that not dust on the floor right there? Why can I not? This might be close. Although I feel like my thing was more full. I sucked a little better than they did. That's right. Feeling pretty darn good. Look at that big sack. That's a quality move. And in this game, it's definitely trying to be the participation trophy of Mario Party. Everybody gets coins, except for unless you're in last place. But everybody knows that if you're in last place, you're a huge loser and you don't deserve anything in life. It does make me think back to Mario Party 10, I believe. It was the last Mario Party that was on the Wii U, or maybe, maybe it was the only one for Wii U, and you were all in the same car. Oh, don't you do this. Oh, we can't anyway. <laughs> That's funny. You're all in the same car. You're all collecting these like mini silver stars as you go, and for some reason, it's, it's like you, you you're all going for the same goal. It wasn't. It was very atypical for Mario Party. Ooh, that's a good item. The golden dash room. I'll get plus five to a dice roll. But anyway, yeah, this one, it kind of tries to get back to the roots of Mario Party. It's not perfect, and it does have some elements to it that I'm like, eh, I don't know if I care for this. But, in general, it's pretty fun, and it's a simple Mario Party. It's not my favorite, but it's still pretty good. So Yoshi, getting a little ahead of himself, and unless he uses that Golden Shroom, this should at least wipe out the Goomba bonus that he'll have. I don't think you can, yeah, you can only use one item per turn, which is fine. We got some catching up to do, though, because Yoshi is way ahead of, oh boy. Well, good thing we used that. Probably should have used it on Luigi, to be honest. That's okay. I don't think we'll be able to catch Yoshi. That seven roll is pretty intense, so. And Rosalina is just in a completely different universe. However, she is close to that Wiggler spot, which could benefit her soon. Wiggler is kind of like a special bonus shop. So try harder. One of the best things about Mario Kart are just the, um, ooh, I hate this. Yeah, I hate this. This is one of those like motion-based missions that makes me feel dumb. 
Yeah, dislike. Why are why are our bikes Three, the same color as us? Two, Solidarity. One, All right. Look at Mario pedaling. He's pedaling so fast. He's making smoke. He's smoking everybody. I'm starting to get vibes that the computer players aren't as high of a difficulty as it said they were. I don't know if you can choose it. Or you choose who you want to play against or if it's just the cohort that the game pre-selects. I feel like I'm adult enough to pick my own enemies. I don't need the game doing it for me. We're almost at the halfway point. Turn five out of 10. Yeah, see? So Yoshi's gonna cancel out my poison mushroom like a turd. You know who's not turds? All of you viewers. So once again, huge thank you to everybody that has followed me as long as I've been making content. I know that this is a little bit of like a superfluous moment, but you know, I am just so gracious enough to th no, I'm kidding. The reality of the situation is I got back into making content for, it took me a long time to do this. I was away from it for a, a long, long, long time. Didn't feel right. Wasn't really in the good headspace for it. And Yoshi's turning up the heat. No, but I wasn't having fun. I was making content and I think I just did it for the obligation to make content. Not because I wanted to. I just felt like I, I had to. And things changed a bit. The, the community that I was with slowly shifted and people grew grew up and grew apart. And you know, when that does happen, unfortunately, you have the reality that you gotta move along when time changes. So I was one of the last few people in my group that was still making content and it just wasn't as much fun anymore. There wasn't the collaboration, the community. It wasn't what I had wished it could be. And you know what? Luigi is pretty darn close to me and I would like to slow him down. There we go. Hopefully that takes a little edge away. I was covered in purple farty gas. I like that. But uh, yeah, so the community was just different. And I, oop, this is bad. This is gonna force us all back, isn't it? Wonderful. Oops, the domino trap has sprung. And domino sucks, so. Sorry, Luigi. All that basically does is force you to this square. It's kind of like the, um, what do you want to say? It's the, there's a level in like Mario 60, no, in the 64 Mario parties, there's this um, kind of raw, it's actually in the in the Mario Superstars version of um, Mario Party. And the level has a kind of a trap where if you hit the wrong spot, you'll all be forced back against this spaceship. It forces you all back down the line. Ooh, we have two levels where you could just be winning coins. Unfortunately, I did not choose either of them. So here we go, Sphere Mongers. It's kind of a messed up name, but I get it. So we're trying to see how many balls we can grab. So let's see, we're gonna, you're gonna wanna grab those big gold balls. So lower your magnet. Oh, come on, I had those. Drop your balls. Grab more. We're getting all the small balls, but I want that gold one. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. Grab as many of those big balls as you can. Oh yeah, I dunked on everybody this time. Not a chance. Feeling pretty good. Another gold one just to cap it off. That's right, suck on that. The balls are mine. Who's best with the balls? Me. It's a new record, so feeling pretty amazing. Okay. This is, this is going to take an hour. I don't think that it will. So for those of you watching the clock, don't worry. I'll get you out of here. Back on your lunch break in no time.
I have no idea when this is actually going to go up, so we will find out. I don't know if I intend to really make these kind of celebratory videos too often, because I know that they can be a bit redundant and silly, but it just made me think back to the old channel when I did this and I played Mario Party. I didn't really have a rote way that I did things back then. It was kind of like a you feel it out, you do what you think is right, and that's it. And that's kind of how we did things back in the day. Back in the good old days. Okay. So Yoshi wisely opting not to pay for the Koopa. And I think our poison mushroom should kick in here. So no matter what Yoshi, <laughs> Yoshi, um, no matter what Luigi does, oh, he's going nowhere today. That's right. We'll collect some coins though. That's good enough, right? You know, plenty of people that do nothing and collect coins. Okay, so let's see if we can get a good roll. Not the best, but a preferred four. Getting that ally space is pretty important. If you're able to, oh, a hidden block. Ooh, what a thought. Oh, if you get the little space, you get a star. This is just coins. Just coins. In this economy, I shouldn't be complaining at all. That's not very kind. I'm actually very thankful for that. Thank you, game. Like I am thankful for all of you viewers. We'll see how many segues I can fit into this video. Never enough. There's never enough thanks. But yeah, as the channel... Oh my goodness. She's about to definitely go in front of us. She's gonna be pretty close to that star. Wait, what? Oh, okay. No, do it! Come to us! I don't think there's a way to reduce the amount of... Oh, she got the golden pipe, too. Oh, man. Rosalina is doing pretty well for herself. Okay, maybe I understated how good the quality of my opponents would be. Ooh, but we can stop her from getting any coins here if we can team up. Smash and crab. So we basically just have to go back and forth. I don't think I have... Oh, Yoshi's the one who's moving us. We just have to... We're out here seeing if Rosalina wants to smash. Okay. I love the little pre-game cutscenes. They're very funny. Team Mario. Come on, boys. Get her. This is kind of tough. I mean... Force her over. Trying to hit her with my big wood. Come on. Oof. Come on. Yeah, there's not there's not really a good coordinated way to do this, but we still win. Also, that crab is amazing. We just gave Rosalina crabs. How's that feel? And high five everybody. That's one of the things that's weird in this game is if you do the occasional team high five, you can get extra coins, which just seems like inflation to me. Even she gets coins, even though she's a loser. We are dominating this economy though. Absolutely crushing it in the market. Feels pretty amazing. So here we go. I don't think any of us are gonna be able to really catch Rosalina, especially considering she's gonna use that, she's gonna lay some sweet pipe. But that ally is already paying dividends for Yoshi. Seems a bit unfair. Ooh, the coin NATO. It's a new item in this game, I think. There's probably similar variations of those items in previous Mario Parties. They try to do their own little spin. I always think of Mario Party. The ones that I played the most were 4, 5, and 6. Those are the GameCube ones. And... I feel like seven may, may have been on that. Maybe I know eight was on the Wii, but uh, yeah, those games always had weird gimmicks to them. Like a, one of them was like a coin or like a an item machine that you could get, like little uh, like a gumball machine almost. It spit them out. So I don't know why she's not using her. Oh, it's because she has an eight roll and she doesn't need to. 
Well, the downside to this is that Rosalina has the potential to get two stars back to back, which is super uncool. Now, the only way that we stop that is preventing her from getting any coins to end her turn, because she has to have at least 10, which I would not approve of. There seems to be a pretty decent amount of parity here in star acquisition, except for Luigi, because he's a waste of space. Come on, Green Mario. So the star will move one more time by Toadette. Right on the way. A Rosalina, you'll love to see it. Oh no, it's not. It's back to the beginning, so... You gotta go around the outside for that one. But... She does have a pipe, so she can warp right to it. But she's gotta be able to pay for it. And if you can't pay for it, then you're gonna get out. Face off in a rumble mashup. Choose so many coins to wager. Oh boy, I don't like this. Does everybody have 10? Nope, she doesn't. If she loses this, she is in Poo Pooville. Okay. Start. Wait for the rumble. Anytime. I believe that's first place. Look at that reaction time. You're not going to see D might get in any car accidents. I am on top of it. I was actually. A pretty horrible turn for her. I mean, she did get the star, which is impressive, but she's got to win this mini game. Dude, not a unless it's a money game. Okay, we already did can take pancake game. Come on, come on. That's not fun. Two of the same mini game in a row. I'm gonna win this one. I feel it. I want that star cake? I see it. Nope, I'm not going for it. this. Time I'm being patient. Oh, oops. Grab it so I can grab it so I can grab it. Do it. Do it. No, you. No. Ugh. I hit the wrong button again. That's my excuse. See, that was just a tutorial on what not to do. Oh, she did win. No. Ugh, of all the things to happen, this is what I get for running my mouth. My big fat mouth. Now. Oh, wait, that didn't give her enough? Oh, you only get eight. That's right, you don't get ten. Interesting. So I'm not close to a star, but I do have a lot of coins because I'm amazing. Quite the financier. We're doing awesome. So I do think the last place person gets some sort of a bonus from the gimmick character of the level. In this case, it's the Womp. Womp, there it is. Okay, so Luigi gets a little bit of a gift. This could be a star, which I really hope it's not. I don't think he can use it until his turn, and it does count as his item for the turn. So Toad has raised the stakes. Look at his cute little bow tie. A little ketchup and mustard. And Kamek, I think, alt, alt, eh, alters the game as well. There's these question mark, exclamation point spaces, which are kind of like uh, a poo-poo space. And now they're extra poo-poo, and you don't want to eat the poo-poo. Okay, great. And there's two back-to-back -back there. That's a really, really bad spot to be in. Okay. So I do believe that Rosalina is close enough now that she can... Oh, I mean, she doesn't have to be close enough, I guess. She can just use the pipe to warp to wherever the star is. But I think Yoshi's actually gonna... Oh, that's beautiful. That's hilarious. What a waste! Imagine without uh, having that opportunity. Who gets another ally, though? That's pretty lucky. Two allies and one game of Mario Party? Seems a little unfair, I'd say myself. Okay. So he gets the hammer bro. They're gonna get hammered, bruh, together. That's not a great... That's not a great block, but, you know, who am I to say? A decent turn for Luigi. He's not having the best of luck today. But he's gonna do 
Looks like a versus game for all of us. Another one of these. Rumble Balloon. Hopefully it's not more than 10. Okay, 10 I can do. We all have at least... Nope. Well, this actually punishes Rosalina again. She can use her pipe, but she can't pay for it. How do we blow the pipe? Oh, to hold it up. Okay, we don't want to let it explode. As close as we can without exploding. I don't really know how big it can get before exploding. That looks pretty big. And they're not even trying. Pretty sure I just blew them all away. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh, Oh, she's got 11 coins, though. No! Okay. Getting down to the nitty-gritty here. We're definitely not going to be able to get to that star in time, but we can potentially star block Rosalina. Nice. So we're going to go this way. Ooh, I think that that actually takes me to a bad spot. <laughs> Maybe not the best choice. Yes. I believe that stealing a star... Rosalina is the one who's definitely going to get it next, so. Lakitu is loving being a thief. That's a great animation. She looks like she's trying and failing to fly. So that's a free star. She's the victim of theft. And we are all the richer for it, yes. That's what it takes. If you have the most money, you can steal things from people and there are no rules. All you have to do is just be wealthy. Super stinking wealthy. Oh boy, here we go, super bad spot. Guess we can demo this. This is a poor choice. Hopefully this does not involve me losing a star. So this seems like a really bad roulette. Oh boy. This is horrible. Eh, I can live with that. That's probably the least bad of all the options. 15 coins. You guys can have some of my charity, you peasants. But I think that should be effective enough to stop Rosalina. Is she not going to? Because she's still got to go all the way around from the beginning area. She might just be waiting until the last moment and, or buy two pipes. She should not be allowed to buy another pipe. Oh, that is lame. You better hope that she's going to have enough time and coins to pay for it. Well, she can at least buy one, and that is not cool. But we have two, because we stole, and we don't care. Alright, I gotta win these ones. Dart gallery. Like art gallery, but the darts. Okay, so I basically just have to kind of drive around here. That's all I can do. They're gonna throw their darts at us, or at us, at me, and try to trap me. I think they each have five, which seems like a lot. I just have to make sure I don't get trapped. That's kind of the big thing. Try to encourage them to throw their dumb darts in the same spots. If they land on each other, then they, uh... Oops, I'm getting stuck already. This is kind of tough to Okay, so it's just time, or... I guess if they run out. And they did, because they're dumb, and I win! I was the least dumb, therefore I won. That's what it's all about, guys. In life, it's not about being the smartest, it's about being the least dumb. Okay, so Rosalina can buy one star. I have to hopefully prevent her from being able to buy two stars. One on each of her turns. Now, I'm not going to be able to get to any of them. I am too far away. Random? Why would you choose random? Okay. I mean, it would have probably made the most sense to stop Rosalina from having them, but Yoshi and his dumb dinosaur brain didn't think of that one. That's why you're going to wind up being what I put into my car someday, Yoshi. You're just fossil fuels. Which I did learn, actually. A lot of the stuff that we rely on to put gas into our cars is not related 
from the actual dinosaurs themselves as being the main component. I'm sure there is to an extent, but a lot of it has to do with the decomposition of the plants and the various other, you know, life that decomposed and when it's stacked on top of each other, all that kind of stuff. That's usually where we get it from. Not, oh, don't turn into a star. Oh my gosh. That was almost a star. And that would have made me absolutely furious. I can't believe that that almost happened. That would have been such a joke. Thankfully, it did not happen, though. I'm very happy. Very, very happy. He's got the Wiggler Shop, too, though. I think she bought the pipe. I don't know if you can each buy the pipe, or... Okay, so everybody thinks that they're going to be getting a star on their last turn, which is going to be something. Okay. So that's a lucky space. What do you get on the lucky space, Luigi? The Dash Mushroom. Okay. Good for you. Who do you think you are? I did. All right. Hasn't really been anything too exciting on our end. Our rolls have just been eh. A lot of threes, but I mean, that's what I get. I'm feeling like I'm just going to have to ride this one out. There's not really a whole lot left I can do. She's pretty close. I still don't understand why she didn't use her pipe. There's two turns left. She could have at least done it on one of them. What are you doing? Maybe she's trying to get the organic way, but she still has to win. Yeah, that was dumb. Now she can't afford both. Oh, Rosalina. So much for being the hard AI, huh? You big dummy. Unless this is a money game she wins. Nope. She is lost in the shuffle. Okay. Find the doll with the most mini dolls inside. So these are like the Matryoshka dolls. From somewhere in Eastern Europe, I'm assuming. I'm not sure why Toad is dressed up like... He's about to work at a casino. Okay. Yeah, I got no idea. It's intentionally kind of tricky. Actually, I should have picked the fourth one. I feel like I picked the worst one. Oops. Yep. Oh, it was the first. Luigi, look at you. What a guy. What a guy. Lucky, lucky. Okay, I mean, I still don't feel threatened, but it's the final turn. It's the final countdown. Never give up if someone's taking you from behind. And there's bonus stars, so don't forget. Everybody's a winner when you play Super Mario Party. But Yoshi here has got two allies, so an, an extra four move every turn is kind of broken. But thankfully the shop is closed on the final turn, so no prizes. And I think Rosalina is the only one close enough to have benefited from the golden pipes. And she didn't use... What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is bonehead AI. Should have picked very hard. Like, I don't need you to pity me, game. He's not going to make it. Oh my goodness. This is the dumbest thing. I almost feel bad if I do win. I don't feel bad about that. You deserve that. You big dumb dummy. All right, so there's nothing I can really do besides just take my turn. I can't really alter the game in any meaningful way. But I don't want to take another poo-poo spot. So we'll go this direction. Thankfully, we have the illusion of choice. And we get our an ally, even though we don't need one. It's not going to really benefit us. But who's going to pretend to help us? It's Waluigi. That's fun. Would have been nice to have that a few turns ago. But we'll take it. That's okay. Yeah, well, apparently you've probably got more brains than the three 
computer players combined, because they are all kinds of stupid. I was hoping she wouldn't even use it then, that would be hilarious. So she's gonna get a star of this, but she could have had two, and she didn't, and I have no idea why. It would be funny though. There are dice blocks out there, like Rosalina has shown, where you could move zero spaces. So you could use the pipe to get within one, and then still not get a star. No, she's not. Rosalina is super dumb. She could have had two stars and have tied me for the lead. But nope. Maybe she actually felt bad. Maybe that's what it is. She feels bad. She doesn't want to uh, abuse the system. But there are still bonus stars. I think we have one final mini game, maybe? Okay. I think every possible outcome has basically been pushed through. Lucky space, feeling pretty lucky. Okay, that's not cool. Oh, poor Yoshi. Okay. The final minigame, which in some cases can be consequential, but I don't think it will be in this one. What a racket. Is this tennis based? Mario Tennis? Oh, look at this. So we basically have to go and try to smack Luigi. Drop some bombs on him. He's got a giant racket. I love that. Is the same bomb, I think, the same bomb sound effect from uh, 3D World? It sounds right, the one when you're kicking soccer bombs to against Bowser. Okay, I don't really, oh. So there is, there is score being kept at the top. Yeah, how's that feel, Luigi? You and your big racket weren't good enough. You smacked him around. That was awesome. Good job, us. Oh yeah, bonus coins for sportsmanship. I don't like the way Yoshi is looking at me right there. Maybe a little uncomfortable. Okay. Now let's see who's gonna be the ultimate Mario Party wiener. So that also has a bow tie? Because they coordinated their tie etiquette? Or aesthetic? No, I said etiquette. All right, here we go. The bonuses, the rich bonus, the rich get richer. That should be me. I would wager to guess. Oh yeah. Now I don't know, I think only one other person had two. The slowpoke bonus. That's gotta be Rosalina. She did get a couple zeros I thought, but she also moved a lot. Oh yeah. Apparently we tied in spaces. That does happen occasionally when you play through this game. So there's only two bonus stars. So there's not really a ton that you can do to influence it, but clearly, if you've been paying attention, Luigi and Mario looking very fierce. But the winner is Mario, it's us. And the other winner is you, viewers. So congratulations to us. Congratulations to you for being amazing and following along. And stay tuned for lots more content. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for following along all these years, or just recently, whenever you started. And uh, I look forward to making more content to keep you all entertained. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. Thanks for 50 subs, everybody. I'll catch you next time. Bye.